Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Brichettes. Skewers of grilled meat, typically beef, chicken, or goat, seasoned with spices and served with onions and chili peppers. Brichettes, also known as skewers, are a popular street food found in various regions, including the Central African Republic, Car. They consist of small pieces of meat, vegetables, or both, threaded onto sticks and grilled to perfection. Brichettes are loved for their delicious flavors and convenient, handheld nature. Here's more information about brichettes. Meat selection. Brichettes can be made with a variety of meats, including beef, chicken, goat, and sometimes pork or fish. The choice of meat may vary based on local preferences and availability. Vegetables. While meat is the most common ingredient used in brochettes, vegetables like onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, and mushrooms are also often included. The addition of vegetables adds flavor, color, and nutritional balance to the skewers. Skewering and grilling. The meat and vegetables are cut into bite-sized pieces and threaded onto skewers, either made of metal or wooden sticks. The skewers are then grilled over an open flame, charcoal, or a barbecue, allowing the ingredients to cook and develop a smoky and charred flavor. Seasoning. Brichettes are typically seasoned with a combination of herbs, spices, and marinades to enhance their taste. Common seasonings may include garlic, ginger, black pepper, paprika, and other local spices. Serving. Brichettes are often served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone street food snack or as part of a larger meal. They are commonly served with condiments such as spicy sauces, peanut sauce, or a squeeze of lemon or lime for added zest. Variations. Brichettes can be prepared in various ways, depending on regional and cultural influences. Different regions may have their own unique marinades, seasonings, or ingredients used in the skewers, making each variation distinct and delightful. Brichettes are a versatile and beloved street food in the Central African Republic and beyond. Their combination of grilled meat and vegetables, along with the enticing flavors of marinades and seasonings, make them a delicious and satisfying snack or meal enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Poisson Braise. Grilled fish, such as tilapia or catfish, seasoned with spices and grilled over an open flame or charcoal fire. Poisson Braise is a delicious and popular grilled fish dish commonly enjoyed in the Central African Republic, Car, and other West African countries. The name, Poisson Braise, translates to, grilled fish, in French, reflecting the colonial influence on the region's culinary language. Here's more information about this delightful dish. Fish selection. Poisson braise is typically made using fresh whole fish, such as tilapia, catfish, or other local fish varieties. The choice of fish may vary based on availability and regional preferences. Marination. Before grilling, the fish is usually marinated in a flavorful blend of spices and seasonings. The marinade may include ingredients like garlic, ginger, onion, lemon or lime juice, thyme, paprika, and other aromatic herbs and spices. Grilling process. The marinated fish is then grilled over an open flame, charcoal, or barbecue, which imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the fish. The grilling process enhances the natural flavors of the fish and creates a delicious crispy skin. Serving. Poisson braise is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone dish or as part of a larger meal. It is often presented whole on a platter or a bed of fresh vegetables. Accompaniments. Poisson braise is commonly served with various side dishes and condiments. Some popular accompaniments include rice, plantains, cassava, or yams. It is also common to serve poisson braise with a side of spicy sauce or a zesty citrus-based dressing to enhance the flavor. Social and cultural significance. Poisson braise holds cultural significance in the Central African Republic and other West African countries, where fish is a staple part of the diet. It is often enjoyed at social gatherings, family meals, and festive occasions. Poisson braise is a delicious and healthy dish that highlights the natural flavors of fresh fish. Its smoky aroma and tender flesh make it a beloved street food and a favorite among locals and visitors alike in the Central African Republic and beyond. Plantains Fritz. Fried plantains, either ripe and sweet or green and savory, served as a popular street snack. Plantains Fritz, also known as fried plantains, are a popular and delicious street food found in various regions, including the Central African Republic, Car. Plantains are a type of starchy banana that are cooked when ripe or green and can be prepared in several ways. Here's more information about Plantains Fritz. 
Plantain selection. Plantains used for frying can be either ripe or green. Ripe plantains have a yellow or yellow-black skin and are sweeter, while green plantains have a green skin and are starchy and savory. Slicing. The plantains are peeled and sliced diagonally or lengthwise into thin pieces or thick rounds, depending on personal preference and regional variations. Deep frying. The sliced plantains are then deep fried in hot oil until they become golden brown and crispy. Ripe plantains will caramelize and become slightly sweeter during frying, while green plantains will develop a crisp texture and a savory flavor. Serving. Plantains fritz are typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a tasty street snack or side dish. They can be eaten on their own or paired with various dipping sauces, such as spicy sauces or garlic mayonnaise. Variations. Depending on regional preferences, plantains fritz can be seasoned with a sprinkle of salt, sugar, or spices like cinnamon or chili powder to enhance their flavor. Cultural significance. Plantains are a staple food in many African countries, including the Central African Republic, and they hold cultural significance in the local cuisine. Fried plantains are a favorite street food option, enjoyed by people of all ages. Plantains fritz are a delightful treat that offers a mix of textures and flavors, from the sweet and caramelized notes of ripe plantains to the crispy and savory taste of green plantains. Their versatility makes them a beloved street food in the Central African Republic and a popular snack or side dish in many other countries with plantain-rich diets. Injara a porridge-like dish made from cornmeal or millet, cooked with water or milk, and served as a breakfast or snack. Injara is a porridge-like dish made from cornmeal or millet, commonly cooked with water or milk. It is often served as a breakfast or snack in the Central African Republic and other regions with similar culinary traditions. Here's more detail about injara. Ingredients. Injara is typically made with either cornmeal or millet flour, which are mixed with water or milk to create a thick and creamy porridge-like consistency. Cooking process. To prepare injara, the cornmeal or millet flour is slowly added to a pot of boiling water or milk while stirring continuously to avoid lumps. The mixture is then simmered over low heat until it thickens and reaches the desired texture. Flavoring. Depending on personal preferences and regional variations, injara can be served plain or flavored with various ingredients. Some common flavorings include sugar, honey, butter, or other seasonings to add sweetness and richness to the porridge. Serving. Injara is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a comforting breakfast dish to start the day or as a satisfying snack between meals. It is commonly eaten with a spoon and can be served in individual bowls or larger communal dishes. Nutritional value. Injara is a nutritious and filling dish, providing a good source of carbohydrates and energy. It is often enjoyed for its comforting and nourishing qualities. Injara is a staple dish in the Central African Republic and other countries with similar culinary traditions. Its simplicity and versatility make it a beloved breakfast option and a satisfying snack that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. As a porridge-like dish made from cornmeal or millet, Injara reflects the reliance on locally available ingredients and the rich culinary heritage of the region. Singala. A traditional drink made from fermented millet or sorghum, enjoyed as a refreshing beverage. Singala is a traditional drink enjoyed in the Central African Republic, made from fermented millet or sorghum. It is a popular and refreshing beverage with cultural significance in the region. Here's more detail about Singala. Ingredients. Singala is typically made from millet or sorghum grains, which are soaked, fermented, and then brewed into a beverage. The fermentation process allows the grains to convert their starches into sugars, resulting in a mildly alcoholic drink. Fermentation. To make singala, millet or sorghum grains are soaked in water and left to ferment for a certain period. The length of the fermentation process can vary depending on the desired level of alcohol and flavor. Brewing. After fermentation, the soaked and fermented grains are boiled to extract the flavors and sugars, creating a liquid base for the drink. Flavorings. Depending on regional preferences, additional ingredients like spices, herbs, or fruits may be added to enhance the taste of Singala. Common flavorings include ginger, lemon, or other local herbs and botanicals. Alcoholic content. Singala is mildly alcoholic due to the fermentation process. The alcohol content can vary depending on the fermentation time and brewing methods, but it is generally considered to be a low-alcohol beverage. Serving. Singala is typically served chilled or at room temperature, making it a refreshing beverage, especially in hot climates. 
It is often consumed during social gatherings, celebrations, and special occasions. Cultural significance. Singala holds cultural significance in the Central African Republic and other regions where it is enjoyed. It is a traditional drink that is deeply rooted in the local culinary heritage and is often shared among friends and family during communal gatherings. Singala's mild alcoholic content and refreshing flavor make it a popular and beloved traditional drink in the Central African Republic. Its preparation using millet or sorghum grains reflects the use of locally available ingredients and the cultural importance of fermentation in traditional African beverages.